Hey there, YouTubers. This is Don from True Cable again, coming back to you to show you how to use our new crimp and termination tool. Uh, this is an extremely handy tool to have around, and we're going to just do a quick demonstration first and then get through some of the features found in the tool. Uh, we're going to demonstrate just fast, just very quickly here, uh, how to put an RJ45 plug onto a CAF IV cable and kind of show you how this uh, tool works. So here we've got a plug that's already been, uh, this is a pass-through plug that's been inserted onto a ethernet cable. The conductors are already going through there, so this is why they call it a pass-through plug because all those conductors are out the front. You know, you've already made certain that your color combination is correct here. In this case, it's T568B. And using this tool is quite simple. You just simply push the gun lock here to unlock the tool. It'll spring open on you. And then it only inserts one way. Make sure that you ramp up these conductors just a little bit so that it'll clear the cutting blade here. And you don't have to use excessive force. Just simply push it in, just hold it there lightly. You don't, if you push too much, you may actually start shaving plastic off of the front of the plug, which is what you don't want. So just simply insert it, hold some light pressure, begin to close the tool, then you can take your hand right off because the strain latch pressure bar is going in there and it's now got that plug uh, locked. So then just simply close the tool and if there's a couple of little bitty hanging uh, chads and if you're uh, old enough to remember that particular joke, uh, that's perfectly fine, that's normal. Uh, these conductors are flush cut and all of the pins are down and the strain latch is engaged and that's basically it. Now you got a nice terminated plug ready to plug into a computer or whatever you're plugging it into. So uh, let's get in a little more into exactly what this tool is capable of doing, what it handles and some features about it. So again, it's got a nice gun lock on there. Uh, so you just simply uh, shotgun lock if you want to refer to it that way and it simply will allow you to keep it open and closed uh, as needed put it in your back pocket it's pretty slim high visibility green so it doesn't disappear into your tool bag um, <clears throat> this pass-through crimper will handle standard plugs uh, it just in this case you won't make use of this flush cut blade on this side of the tool the plug will simply stop and then you'll press it down it'll terminate it'll it'll uh, engage the strain latch in the back of the plug it will terminate your golden contacts, but it won't shave anything off. But in the case of a pass-through plug, obviously, it'll shave off the conductors. Uh, on here, you also have the T568A or B sequence so that you can match up your colors with your, uh, with your uh, plug just to make certain that you're getting the termination correct. Hey, even professional installers need to occasionally reference back to uh, to, the, to, the, to the standard, you know, we all have those days and moments. Uh, this tool is very durable. It comes from the factory lubricated for a minimum of one year continuous use, um, unless you're a professional installer and you're using this thing, you know, 500 times a day. Uh, but, you know, if, if, if that's the case, if you do find yourself in a position of needing to re-lubricate it, it's very simple. It takes exactly two drops of oil. Uh, just simply use a high quality uh, uh, PTFE or Teflon bearing uh, lubricant. So um, another feature of this tool is the ability to change out the blade. Uh, this tool does have a cut and strip section on it. Uh, the cutter does work pretty well. Uh, it handles uh, outside cable di uh, jacket diameters of 7.30 millimeter, anything above that, and it's going to not uh, do a good job for you. And so it does cut well, it's like so, uh, but it does have a strip channel on it, but I, I have to tell you uh, that if you're going to be stripping uh, the Ethernet cable, I strongly recommend that you use our uh, our cut and strip tool that we have dedicated to that task because your strip depth is going to be, or, or your score depth is going to be dependent upon how well you can hold this handle consistently all the way around the cable. And I always nick a conductor when I'm using this, this particular stripper, so I don't even bother. I mean, I might use a cutter, but I just don't bother with the stripper. Um, we have a, a tool dedicated to getting you a really good score on the cable jacket. This is liable to get you nicked conductors, so I just, I mean, it's there as a backup. If you forget your primary tool, 
it's a nice to have. If you use it, make certain that you're checking your conductors and you haven't nicked them. So uh, that pretty well uh, covers that aspect. Again, their blade is replaceable. You unscrew this one screw here. We so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, this tool uh, will serve you well and you have a great day and happy networking.